This video is going to be about people who have like, limiting jobs, jobs that have a certain routine, especially when, I, when you're being concerned with like when you wake up and when you're able to go to sleep. Now, I realise that this encompasses pretty much most jobs. Obviously, most jobs include a schedule where you wake up at a certain time, you go to the office or go to work, perform your set hours of work, and then come home, right? This all happens at certain times, and so it's very hard to customise that. It's not easy to just say to your boss, well, I want to learn how to lucid dream, so I'm going to be turning up at 11 today because I need to have a lay-in. That's not really an option. And I get that. However, there's a growing number of people who are concerned with this, this idea of needing to have a routine in order to lose a dream. Now, while you do need to have a, a regular sleep pattern, you can always work around problems like having to wake up at a certain time. So, say if you have a job which is you know, following the traditional cliche of the nine to five. So, for a job like that, let's say if you have a half an hour commute time and you want to get there about 10 minutes early, so you would start getting ready, I would assume, at about seven. At least I would, you know, that's how long it would take me to get ready, to do my little morning routine, to maybe go to the gym or have a, have a shower, have some breakfast, and, and then commute to work to be there in time for nine. Now, that doesn't stop you lucid dreaming. All it does is it means it's going to be harder for you to do techniques like the wake back to bed or dream chaining. Um, so dream chaining, I've explained before, dream chaining is where you set your alarm for a certain time, let's say 6 a.m., and you set it to go off every 10 minutes for an hour or two hours or three hours. Um, you know, typically people do this when they can lay in. Ideally on the weekends, you know, for example, Saturday morning, you might set your alarm to go off every 10 minutes for four hours and you might enjoy dozens of dreams if you're lucky, but probably you're just gonna have a handful of lucid dreams. Anyway, that's harder to do if you have to wake up at seven every day to go to your job. Now, there are a few ways around this. You could wait till the weekend and then perform those types of techniques on the weekends. Or you could just focus on a different type of technique entirely which doesn't rely on having to wake up at a certain time and which can be done spontaneously in the night as opposed to when you choose to do it. Now you'll notice that on this channel I've been but let's, let's be honest, I cover a lot of different subjects on this channel. I talk, I talk about lots of techniques, lots of methods. Most of them are great, uh, but there's a few of them obviously, like the wake back to bed, which I'm steering away from. You will have noticed me sort of putting my energy into things like the mild and the dialed, as opposed to the wild and the wake back to bed, just because from my own experience and the experience of others that I've spoken to, it's much more beneficial long term to not interrupt your sleep in the way that you have to for the way back to bed. That is why I've, over the course of the last sort of six months you've seen me transition to encouraging you to not pursue the way back to bed and instead to pursue things like the, the, the um, mild and dialed and more spontaneous lucid dreaming techniques that don't involve waking yourself up early. Now that's not because I don't like waking up early, not at all. It's more because I don't like the interruption of the sleep and then going back to bed. I've always found that every single time I do that, when I, if I go back to bed, I either can't fall asleep at all and I end up feeling groggy all day, or I fall asleep and then massively oversleep until 11 or 12 in the afternoon, um, sorry, 11 in the morning, 12 in the afternoon. And I just find that there's no real benefit. Obviously, it will give a lucid dream, usually when you do the way back to bed, and especially if you do the wild, but there's no real benefit to that over building up a spontaneous technique like the mild or the dialed. So, I guess the ultimate answer to this question is, if you have a limiting job that involves waking up at seven or six, or if you have night shifts or anything like that, don't worry about that too much, right? Don't worry about setting your alarm to go off and then interrupting your sleep in, REM, in the REM sleep and then doing all of this stuff, because although that works, it's not the direction I would encourage you to move towards. I would encourage you to start focusing on spontaneous lucid dreams. You wanna to get to the point where no matter when you sleep, Right, let's say if you do a night shift and then you catch up with your sleep the next day and you have REM rebound or whatever your situation is, you want to get to the point where every single time you sleep there is a good chance that you will spontaneously become lucid as a, as a result of your practices and you know habits and everything that you've built up from before. And, and that's what I've been doing, you know, I've, been, I've not been doing weight back to bed for several months, I've been focusing almost entirely on these spontaneous techniques. And by the way, I say spontaneous 
there is obviously work involved and it is a hit and miss thing. It's not like a, a guaranteed thing where I lucid dream every night because you can't do that. You can never master lucid dreaming in that way. What I would say to do is just to focus and it sort of takes a bit of the edge and the pressure off as well. If you don't have to induce a lucid dream tonight, then it doesn't matter if you fail. You know, you can always try again the next night. You can always try again the week after or even the month after. And if you approach it like this, you start to think of it as a lifelong skill that you can build on as opposed to just a fad that you want to learn over the weekend just so you can tell your friends on Monday. So that's just my take on this stuff. Let me know what you think and I'll see you tomorrow.